TA just takes your tower. So oh, now sure, Nisha yeah. just needs help. He needs some type of moves from the supports to try to make sure he doesn't lose his I mean, tower. we're seeing a lot of movement from both teams around, of course, these power in six minutes in. And uh, it's going to be bottom. And BZM will have that secure for himself. Tiger is going to have to set up on box seat. BZM Easy. stepping in. This is looking like a first blood. BZM chases him up to the high ground. So not only just having the, the easiest lane of his life for BZM, 39 CS picked up at six minutes in, he's also got himself first blood. Yep, go so for they have six on Nature's Prophet. So maybe, I think Insania with these type of moves looking to help mid, but also give the NP the six so they have damage when they have the coil combo. Because right now, damage is lackluster and oh, Nature's sure. way too low. I mean, you bring either of these supports from Liquid towards oh, see bottom lane. Nice dodge. Nice setup here with a combo. You're arguing getting low. Time of the boundless strike, but wasn't at a point where he was able to already build up the Jingu Mastery, so no sustainability keep, to keep him alive. Liquid, they'll claim both of the lives there of Yuragi and Tiger. Nice clean up here from the two of them. Both, I think both spells connected perfectly, right? I think there's a little bit of a dodge on connect with another like double stun on top of you. You might just get burst down on this MK2. So let's see which moves it's going to be. Right now, Ward's looking at just like around the mid lane. Liquid trying to help out Nisha a little bit. And I mean, OG Liquid's happy to go here. again. They've got Wrath. It's gonna be coming. Oh, go ahead. The bounce it comes in pretty hard, uh -oh. and it's indeed too hard for your argue to withstand. Uh, this isn't a replay, boys and girls. This is uh, round two, bottom lane, and uh, it, it's looking like it's gonna end the same way. Tiger's trying to get into the trees. Oh, he's actually able to. I mean, Boxy wants this kill. He's not gonna get it. Zai still had the hammer to pull back as they take down the two of them uh, uh, yet again. So, I mean, you said it. This bottom lane is not gonna be a nice place for your argue to come back to. We'll see if he comes back again. Sure. Sure, and he's still in good position, of course, to do that. Yeah, so I'm, I'm you know, I'm fine with him going back bottom. Because, yeah, top is top is a death trap if he does try to go up there. They'll just bring numbers. And Liquid's uh, going to try and make a fight out of this one. Good avalanche with Chew holds back the two of them, but Boxy able to sneak in from the side, set up with the bushwhack. DM trying his best to retreat. It's too much. And Decay will finish him off. So Liquid making the moves now across the map. Not only making sure that the bottom lane goes very much in their favor, but now starting to, to tip that top lane in their favor as well. Bottom. Ty getting aggro. He's going to go straight in onto your argument with the combo. You're right. a wrath. He's got Tiger by his side. Big it's heal. a big heal indeed off with the boundless strike. Backup comes in. Mickey trying to do his best to help Zai out here. As Zai gets found by the fire blast. OG are able to punch back here with the two of them. Mickey. Your argument's still going to be a bit careful. Backup from Nisha now turning up from Liquid. As they want to keep this fight going. Tiger, he'll get left behind. Yuragi does manage to get the space to get back to the safety under his tower. They give Nisha the kill for the rotation. He's already having a tough time. You can see the Mickey stopping his attacks. I like that Yuragi uh, backed off. He knew someone else was coming He's going to try and set up it. I mean, they've got you coming in. Wukong's command set up from Yuragi. Mickey. I don't think we, he was quite ready for this one, but the, the Sun Guardian heal? Heal's coming in. Backup has, has arrived, and with the Dream Call set up, Liquid, they can look to turn this around. The orb comes through to take oh, down oh, Yuragi. Oh. And just like that, it was a bit of a bait. Mickey stands strong, hitting the tower, knows that he can trust in the back of Azai to make sure that you're... Easier because they don't have the easiest type of catch, but play with that BKB versus Tomb. Like, even with BKB, uh, it's no, not it's easy to walk uh, in as yeah. TA, so... Yeah, they're going to try here. Let's Smoke see. up. They know the BZM's strong. Nisha's right here, though. Invis. No dream call for 15 seconds. He'll set up the oh, one to Yuragi, oh. and Yuragi doesn't stand a chance there. Immediately taken out. Quick phase shift to dodge the avalanche. Woo, nice hole. Caught in the black hole for the low ground, and it's enough. They'll be able to take out Nisha and we'll see if they can get more. BZM is going to look towards Zai, and indeed the damage, it's more than that. Very OG nice. able to punch back very nicely. Beautiful black hole yeah, from, from the low ground. They Max couldn't do range. anything about that one. Yeah. They know. Yeah, they back off straight away. OG even has like pretty good vision still down there, all in the area, but can't actually get a punish onto Liquid. Too quick to move away. Yuragi. Oh, Yuragi. Oh, he's got the back of a chew. Yuragi. But that, a little bit oh. ambitious there. Tried to get him with the ultimate. It was just the two of them. And uh, they were just rudely met by the four members of Liquid that uh, quickly disposed of them. Oh. His last hits at 22 minutes, Owen. It's been a tough game for him. <laughs> uh, it's been tough. That is unbelievably low compared to the usual. I'm looking to see if maybe they can oh, be on DM. the top. I mean, Insane is going in. Is he going to get in? Uh, the top lane. Oh. And I've got the Solar Guardian coming in to keep Boxy alive. Boxy's going to be able to get his ult off. Sure, he dies, but he got his job oh. done. Sets up for Mickey and Zai to clean up the two of them. Good call from Zai. I think Insane, Insane maybe was saying, like, hey, let's dive the Enigma. And they're like, nope. Top stuff much yeah, more important. He really I mean, it will for sure. It will keep these heroes alive if they're getting jumped, as you say, by the TA. The tankiness of some of these liquid heroes are going to be pretty deceptive.
And they're gonna be way tankier than you expect. BZM, they're gonna they're try to set move. up onto it. They're gonna use the Solar Guardian aggressively coming in. BZM pots the BKB. And Mikke's here as well. He's caught in the sprout. BZM gets taken down. Chu not able to jump in and save him in time. As that's BZM gone, Chu as well. Yuragi's watching from the trees, but oh God, uh, he's got to get out of here. There's no fight to be had now. Yuragi, he's being stalked. <laughs> Boxy knows he'll get away. Ortney. Fully have shot him down. Oh no. And they get the big kill even before that too. They find BZM after BKB and everything too. Game has now heavily swung into Liquid's favor. It really is. They're, they're charging ahead here. As in the trees, uh, another bit of a catch from Boxy. Uh -oh. Mikke's in with the damage. Oh, they got the Greaves, but Glide is up. And Chu taken down, now look towards BZM. That was Toyo. a good dream call this time around. Catching the three and deal, pulls the BKB. Stands his ground with the black hole dropped on the Prophet, but the Solar Guardian is coming in from Zai. Mikke's more than fine, as there's no kill in the Prophet. There's two more dead. No, just, just one more. DM dead, the, the, the tower is going to be going down as well. Liquid storming ahead right now. Beautiful. Times as we saw earlier, you know, like the defusal on Yuragi and the blink on Chu, it, it just never was able to catch Liquid by surprise. Chu? Chu. Whoop. Trying to get some sort of toss back, but uh -oh. not able to find it. And now, we'll see if he's going to have any sort of help getting out of this one. Uh, he's going to get left behind. It's Chu dead again. Mickey, monster kill streak, 23k net worth on the Nature's Profit. Uh, there's a reason why teams don't let Liquid take this one. This, uh, Literally this hero is pretty insane in the hands of Mickey. Took the words out of my mouth. Oh, and he oh, cuts oh, the trees. <laughs> See you later. Well, there we go. Back to base for Yuragi once more. A trip that he's become quite accustomed to. And uh, it's, 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 it's starting to get messy. It we'll sure see is. the buyback coming from Tiger. But uh, we're going to have to see some insane black hole. From Different again. ways can sometimes some do sort some Some sort of five-man black hole. Yep. And Liquid, I mean, this is a new Liquid, but old Liquid, breaking high ground, they had their struggles in the past. Let's see, let's see what OG can do here. I'm going to try and hit out against Liquid with the smoke. Uh, Soligon, help. Soligon is still on cooldown. Oh, no, it's back up now. Uh, looks like they won't bother trying to help Insania. They'll let Mickey's him dodge his boot. Mickey, he's just gone straight in. I mean, he knows that he can rely on Zai to head over if he needs it. And at the moment, he doesn't even. He's just pushing in with a BKB, attacking into DM as DM has to back right off. Chu's going to get dealt with by Nisha. Uh, it's off to, to the side here, so that's two gone. Won't quite be able to get their hands on BZM. I, I like that confidence. You know, he sees Enigma and he just TPs in his face. I mean, <laughs> with the he, he's he like, knows he can't die. Go refresh himself really quick. Get he's his got, mana back up. Yeah, he's got no TP cooldown, so he can come right back in the fray. Back to business. Tombstone down, and that's the final Rex. All right. Well, this has been a bit of a tough game one here for OG. Liquid coming in very hot at the start of this series. See you, Chu. Do something big, he'll try for the toss back. But Mickey, I, I, he just really doesn't care. Oh no! He's gonna try with a black hole at DM, but uh, nowhere close to Mickey. Uh, tries for Nisha, but Nisha's gonna be fine. Solar Guardian's coming in. OG's having to step back towards the fountain. Mickey literally taking no damage. Full HP throughout it all. GG is called. Cool. Team Liquid will take this game one. And uh, what was really just a, a very rough start to the series here from OG. Yeah, I, BZM played well. BZM had a pretty damn good game. And he good got the farm. Inside. Plant a tree in front of him also. Ooh. I won't get him though. Was that Nisha's tree or who was that? Someone put a tree to block off the path. You can still see it's still there for a second. Someone put a tree down. Uh, yeah, I don't... Oh, I, I still I mean, he's still They're die. still trying to get BZM. There's no shards coming up in a second. All right. He's, he's gone. And uh, the boxy, he'll go for the quick, quick trip back to base. Was that, I don't know, was it an acorn maybe? It was an acorn, I don't know, whatever. Yeah, I don't, I don't Someone Nisha, put a tree he, and tried to block him. Nisha wouldn't have had three branches, right? He would have only brought the two. Oh, melee hero in his lane to get on top of him or anything. And Ogre, Taiga, doing a good job of bodying. Well, I mean, there's a bottle refill in the mid lane for Nisha, but BZM is keeping pretty healthy with that ring of health. They've got to make an aggressive move. Uh, got the bushwhack. And, ooh, what? they, they have got a sentry. A sentry. Okay. <laughs> they're, these, they're, they're professionals here, ladies and gentlemen, boxing with the sentry. Good man. Make sure that no Ghost Walk's going to get Nisha. Uh, you know, miss, you know, Nisha miss out on that kill, BZM. Sent back to base, and uh, Nisha should be able to get that six pretty soon. Yep, and he's got the Catapult Wave shoving in too, so going to be able to force a little bit of damage on here. And bottom, oh. Boxy. He's here again. Oh, he's making the moves. And he even took the Bounty Rune. He's Probably going to be able to take the next bounty rune as well, too, to give that little influx of gold. Rune, Chu's going to find one. Nisha, he's got stick charges to work. I see if they can go for the combo. That's the setup. Like Into the hammer. And Sanya's around, though. Nisha, oh. the man goes ready. He's ready to turn. 
He'll go and aggressive. Tombstone gets chopped down. Chu tries for the toss back onto Nisha. But like, all this is going to do is kind of allow Nisha to set up with the shards. The pushback's there from Boxy. They've caught PZM. Liquid. I answer that play from OG very, very quickly. They want more. Uh, they're certainly ready to go for it as well. Nisha's got Snowball back up. Now take oh out boy. both of them. Tiger and BZM gone. Liquid, they were very, very ready for that play. Readiness is the exact word I was going to say, too. What was that? A triple mango from Insania? The pressure from Yoragi to BZM. They've actually been shutting down this Invoker consistently with their rotations and looking at the next rotation. Nisha, move top. He's already making the move. They're coming in with a wraparound off the back of the smoke. Let's see Chu. The Avalanche off onto Insania. Tombstone's dropped down. Chu. There's no escape for him. Easy rotations. And yeah, all in the meanwhile, Zai's just free farming bottom. He's having a great time. Mac and Arcane boots done, level eight. He's even looking to now get into the action himself. Exorcism's ready. Him and Boxy are making the smoke. Looks like they maybe want to pressure top or mid. BZM could be in trouble here. He's he got to be careful. I mean, they, they, I mean, BZM knew uh -oh. that Nisha was heading across, uh, but opted to stick around in the lane. Uh oh. Things are accelerating way faster they than last They certainly are. Goes to back up here from Zai. He's ready to start taking another tier one tower. Oggy. They're just making moves too quick for OG to deal with, it seems right now. As is the setup. Buying time for the, for the rest to come in. We'll see if Nisha can get in range for the shards. Yurag is going to try and hide in the trees. Shards, not going to be on point, but the snowball, that certainly will. He's in with the punch. They get the kill. Yurag is taken down. They're ready to do a bit of tier two tower diving here. 12 minutes in as they're ready to go in for Tiger. Trying so. his best, some, some nice jukes, uh, but uh, surely not enough to save him. As uh, there's nobody else coming over here, nobody else is heading over to try and help Tiger. Double kill for Nisha, Liquid there, just uh, storming across the map, and OG. We gotta buy Boots of the Bearing. We True. gotta buy Radiance. We gotta place. buy Meteor Hammer. Yeah. Look at their itemization this time. They ain't buying that crap. They're buying the real normal items. Okay, I'm joking about it being crap. But you know what I mean. You know, people defaulting maybe a little bit too much when they see these changes. Yuragi, he's still up, seen by this he's ward. He's up here again. The supports are killing him. Oh, Mickey, come on. They deserve it. He's just borrowing the kill. Oh, fair enough. I've seen BZM with the combo. We'll set up onto Insane here, but I mean, Mickey's just gonna go straight over towards him. Now, tell the Fire Blast, DM stepping up. Out to the side, Chu. Now they're just set up here with the Black Op and the Bushwhack there from Boxy. Immediately puts a stop to it. And Zai's going to start running at them with the Exorcism. OG, they've got to get out of here. They're on the retreat. DM's going to try for a TP out. There's nothing to stop it, so he will make it away. OG able to at least keep the casualties low. They just get on top of him. He's just dead. So it, their damage has to come from the Lina, which means she has to be there in the fight. And that just means she's very likely to die. So OG. In a lot of trouble here as Nisha got his next target. Right, straight in on top of him. BZM getting jumped. He's going to be able to get the Ghost Walk off, but the, from the that. low ground there, Zai snipes him with the Crypt Swarm. Maybe I cursed BZM too, saying how much I like his Invoker. He's, I mean, they're just putting everything onto him. There's just no hope for OG, it feels it's, like. It's really just falling apart. It's all over the place here from OG. As up top, they lose Tiger back in the river. Chu's getting chased down. Mickey turning into the tiny, giving him a bit of a taste of his own medicine. Now with the Avalanche. 18 to 6. Just 19 minutes in. 10k lead. Oh, over Roche. Right, why not? You yep. got Mickey. What are they going to even try and do? You know, going on to this Morphling right now is very unappealing. And they're all here already. Now Liquid, Arcane Rune, Anisha still. And OG's watching them. Miragi. We'll try and wrap around from the side, but at the same time, oh. Nisha's just gone in straight away. You know, he's caught the three of them there with the snowballs done. DM is not going to be able to stand his ground. Hammer three. Ooh. Ah, but meh. Mickey's in with the waveform. DM's out of the game. Same for Tiger. It's three dead. Gerard gets to go with the big oh. TP out. Jesus. He only just makes it away as it is. Sure, they lose Nisha, but still, it's three heroes dead again on OG. A lot more fragile than in the past. Bounty. Thank goodness. Jump. Zai. We're going to try and burst Zai. Um, oh, my. It looked like that Laguna pretty much healed him. Coming at the same time as the said, he drops a soul upon to Zai. Heals him up. Yuragi's trying to stand his ground. Meteor Hammer will help out. BZM's able to throw down, take down Nisha, but Yuragi's gone. Mikke turning oh, into the tiny. Back. Gets in with the toss back onto DM. Now, DM still has the potential for a black hole if he sees an opportunity in there. It's it it. the three man black hole from DM. Giving them a chance of maybe turning this, but no, Mikke, he's able to survive through the black hole. Pops the Manta, and he's ready to keep the fight going. Goes straight over towards BZM. BZM pops the Ghost Walk to get out of this one. And able to take down Insania on the back of it all, but Zai and Mikke. They're still ready to continue the cleanup. As Mickey not even taken down the once that there was a you know very fancy looking black hole there from DM. Set their eyes on Mickey. 
One minute still on Aegis. I mean, he gets the morph off anyway because he's got shard. Oh, what did he drop? He dropped his banta. No, what, what, he got what? his banta. No, he don't. <laughs> he dropped the stick. All right. On the jump. This, this game's back the on game's the table back. for OG. OG has a chance. There is absolutely a chance. This morph, <laughs> he, he just lost his banta. Oh my god, I can't. I mean, okay. But well, it didn't matter. He'll get him back. Okay. He's got Scotty now, so he's going to clean up anyway. But <laughs> he lost Oh my god. <laughs> he dropped Manta to stick at the camp. All right, well. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, Liquid's still very comfortable playing around their wards. Yuragi. Oh, he's going to see if he can set up. He's there. under vision. Oh! And Zai is easily able to sidestep that Light Strike array, but the BKB. And Yuragi, he'll get the BKB off. But he'll still die. He's gone. He's out of the fight. Mickey charging in down the mid DM. He's going to look for a, a potential with a black hole. Puts the BKB, but he's not able to find a chance to drop it down. He'll opt for the TP out with the remainder of his BKB. We'll make it back to the safety of his fountain. It's three dead again on OG. Oh, man. Oh, oh we gotta oh, we've in. got the good oh, stuff oh, here. But they're about you, to ladies defend. and gentlemen. We, we'll see if we're able to, to fit it in in a section uh, coming up soon. But... We do have the, the, the comms replay of that moment. But uh, there's action going on, so we'll hold on that. Liquid's in with the jump. They look for BZM. BZM's out of the game. No buyback on him, too. Tries with the toss back on to Mickey. And Mickey doesn't mind at all. Of course, uh, Malefice causing a bit, bit of issues. He's got nowhere to dispel it <laughs> uh, right now, so he's just going to have to suffer through that. But he's got a lot of HP. Nisha jumps in. Zai, he's just going to go straight with the BKB, but DM pops the Black BKB hole. in the black hole. Caught the two of them. They're going to throw him down onto Nisha, but Nisha's healed up by the Sora. Forced out inside the freezer pop. Nisha's going to live. Mikkei, he's diving up towards the fountain, chasing DM back to the fountain. They'll kill him off. GG is called. I'm sure we'll be able to play that replay for you during the panel, uh, boys and girls of, uh, of the comms, But because uh, this game's over. There's no time to play it right now. As game two goes to Liquid, this series, it's all Liquid. And, and even with a stolen mantle...